Hi, it's Eve here from Professional Beauty, and I'm here to do our weekly live um, and have a guest joining me this week, which is very exciting. Um, it's Louise Went de Oliveira, who is Head of Treatments and Training at NKD Waxing. Um, now, Louise is going to be joining us at the upcoming Professional Beauty London show, which, if you're not aware, I'm sure you are, is on the 29th and 30th of March this year. Um, so, Louise is going to be speaking on the How To Seminar Programme. Um, and is going to be doing demonstrations and talking through, um, well, her, her, her talk is called Top Tips to Perfect Your Intimate Waxing Skills. So she's really going to be going through some troubleshooting tips and talking about some of the mistakes that people do make in intimate waxing and then how you can fix those with um, giving some demos. So Louise, uh, she, yeah, she's going to demonstrate techniques that she uses to achieve a perfect wax and to keep customers coming back for more. So, I mean, as we know, waxing is a very, a treatment that breeds loyalty. And Louise has joined us now, as you can see. So hi, Louise, thanks very much for joining us. Hi. So Louise, as I've just said, you're speaking about um, top tips to perfect your intimate waxing skills. So I was hoping you could just share with people perhaps some of the practical things that they can learn if they come and see you at the show. Yeah, sure. So one thing I want to go through um, at Pro Beauty Demo is really going back to basics on our application techniques and the removal techniques. Um, just making sure that your wax strips are applied in the correct direction, they're not too long, too wide, making sure it is the most comfortable removal, the most effective removal to avoid any unnecessary discomfort for our clients. Fantastic. So what really are some of the common things that people might be doing wrong in these treatments? Are there things that you see time and again that you... Yeah. I find um, just a really basic thing is making sure the temperature of the wax is correct. So if your wax is too cold, you might find it doesn't really coat the hairs properly, it doesn't grip the hairs. So therefore when you do your removal, it does leave a lot of hairs behind, which therefore means you have to go over that area again, which is not really ideal. Um, sometimes therapists will say that the hairs have been snapped rather than being removed from the root. This could be that you know, you're not really coating the hair right down to the base where the skin layer is, that it's just kind of sitting in the surface depending on the client's hair type. So that's some of the things I really want to go through, making sure everyone's aware of like how to angle their spatulas correctly, the correct type of pressure to use to really make sure we get the vast majority, if not all of the hairs removed in that one quick effective removal. Fantastic. And is there anything else, I suppose, if people aren't really very used to doing intimate waxing treatments, are there any other key differences to um, kind of standard leg waxes and things like that that they need to be aware of and really need to be a bit more careful of? Yeah, I mean, female intimate waxing, it's quite a procedure. You know, there's different areas you need to be focusing on, which do require specific techniques. So I'll be showing everybody how to work quite um, time efficient on the top section of an intimate wax, but then how to work more detailed, say, when we work on the labia and underneath, just to make sure the client feels comfortable. The therapist isn't, you know, feeling that pressure as well because they're having to work in quite, um, you know, private areas. Just making sure technique is there for the different specific parts of an intimate area mm -hmm. compared if he was doing a leg wax or a back wax, for example. Fantastic. Yeah, and as you say, so both client and therapist feel comfortable. It's really important. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Thanks so much, Louise. That's fantastic. It's given loads of uh, insight into what people can expect from the seminar. And so Louise is going to be speaking at 12pm on Sunday, 29th of March on the How To Seminar Programme. So if you've not registered yet, go and have a look at the full uh, education lineup at professionalbeauty.co.uk forward slash seminars where you can register as well. Thanks very much and we'll see you there, Louise. Thanks, looking forward to Bye. it. Bye. Bye.